Hello and welcome to Tech Circle. Now a few days ago, medical technology giant Siemens Healthians opened its biggest R&D manufacturing facility in Bengaluru as part of its expansion plans for India. Now the facility is co-located with the company's R&D center, which is the biggest for the diagnostics imaging company globally and will also house two production lines for imaging equipment. Circle spoke to Gerd Hofner, the managing director and president of Siemens Healthcare Private Limited on healthcare in India and the company's plans moving forward. We started um, with sales in India in 1927, then manufacturing 1960, then software R&D um, 1992. And now, 30 years later, more or less, you could say, co-location of R&D and manufacturing. Um, for me, that is important because uh, then you can really, let's say, go to the next level of uh, value add from India. And uh, there are not many um, locations which we have as health years worldwide where we have, let's say, R&D at a larger scale co-located to manufacturing. If you run, imagine you run a hospital or a diagnostic center and uh, you have 10 CT scanners and other modalities and you would like to know a kind of a benchmark uh, wh how is my utilization yeah, I have per CT scanner 10 patients per day is this good is this bad um, how do others do and such kind of information in principle you could get by using team play how to create a yeah, if you could say it almost a, uh, a Facebook for hospitals or for, for doctors uh, where they can exchange their experience, where they can store the information about their modalities, how it's being used, yeah, what uh, are the, um, the workload in the modalities, what is the workflow and also exchange thoughts. So that was the basic idea. Um, I think we started about two years ago. Uh, main development took place in Bangalore and uh, yeah, in the meantime it's uh, available as a cloud-based solution. Uh, we inaugurated a special lab on virtual reality, augmented reality, um, where we work on support for um, advanced therapy and surgery. Yeah, imagine if you do a surgery and uh, you cut a body open, uh, it might be helpful if you have, let's say, also an image projected on the body uh, where you see everything which is inside in order to avoid uh, that you cut something which you, you shouldn't be cutting. Uh, the other thing is uh, the whole topic of service, yeah, how to uh, train service technicians with um, virtual reality. And uh, the third topic is training, how to operate the modalities and this all with uh, virtual reality. The problem with software is software is something you can't touch. And um, how do you judge the quality of the software you have written, your code? Yeah? Uh, there are a number of metrics existing. So when you, when you write code, for example, there's one metric uh, that is called cyclometric uh, complexity. Um, then there's an other metric, um, if you write in module, um, how long is the module in terms of lines of code? Yeah, or if you use object-oriented uh, programming, in object-oriented programming, you have the concept of inheritance. So you can inherit certain properties from one uh, module or object to another one. And the question is, in terms of complexity, what is your inheritance steps? So there are many, many, many different criteria where you can measure code quality and code complexity. And code complexity and code quality significantly contribute to the security of a code. Um, we are using 15 different metrics to measure this. And we also did an international benchmark with companies in Asia, in Europe, in the United States. One of my favorite quotes is from, I don't know if you've seen the movie Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Um, there is a dialogue between Master Ukwe and the panda. And he says, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, 
but today is a gift, that's why it's called the present. Today we inaugurated the factory. Yeah, so now we have to prove that we can deliver, and that is the present. And tomorrow's a mystery. I mean, I personally do have plans what I would like to achieve. I would like us to become the center of competence for emerging market products for Siemens Health Engineers worldwide. Um, but this is, let's say, the future. And first and foremost, we have to concentrate on the present and make our factory a success. And I'm convinced that we will succeed.